morning, Dr. Carver. Your research has put this school on the map. My star professor. She's thinking of naming me department dean. That'd be kind of weird having you as my boss. Dr. Carver, your new study is called The Dating Test. How does it work? Simply put, The Dating Test helps you find your ideal person. Can't trust feelings, right? Why wait for the mythical arrow to strike when you can do something to find the love of your life? Uh, I was wondering if you've taken this dating test yourself. Researchers don't usually participate in their own studies. With all due respect, doctor, you're telling others to try something you're not willing to try yourself. That was so embarrassing. You're never interested in anything that I care about. Hey, Sir Ryan, it's just not working out. I'm afraid someone recorded it. They're referring to Brooke as Dr. Cupid. Oh, the study's credibility. Brooke's reputation. I'll take the study. The search is over. Vince has found you the perfect man to take the test with. He's a doctor. Brooke, meet Dr. Ryan Bennett. Him. Yes, me. A cute vet who runs Jolly Rover's Rescue. He can't be all bad. We go on three different types of dates to compare our compatibility in different settings. The biosensor monitors your heart rate, pulse ox, and a bunch of other things. I'll record the scores after each date. This game is evil. Its sole purpose is torment, ridicule, and rage. Bowling. Can I just show you one thing? I warned you. You're not that bad. Ah, uh, you're a worse liar than me. Come on, you two. I'll get closer. Ooh. It's like you two are falling in love. The scores are surprising. Ah, uh, just what I wanted. Dance lessons. For the man who has everything. Including two left feet. How do I do? Oh, you've been replaced. No! I think I'm in love with you. Please, just try to understand. I, I've had my heart broken so many times. As if I lost part of it somewhere along the line. I mean, I tried. I tried to get through to her, but she just, she doesn't feel the same way. Remember, Brooke, follow your heart. Be in love, even just for a short time. It's worth the heartbreak. So I have decided to postpone our study's release. Sounds like some revisions are in order. <laughs> <laughs>